female learner who threw a book at her teacher is found guilty. She'll be punished for her actions. The pupil has since been suspended pending a disciplinary hearing. The Sufi visited Three Rivers Secondary School in the Val yesterday and met with pupils and teachers. The video that sent shockwaves throughout the country. The teacher forced to walk out of the classroom after the pupil angrily pelts her with the textbook. I don't want to sugarcoat it. This is a serious offence. Uh, and in any case of this magnitude, we have to act and act decisively. Uh, uh, but if you do so, do so within the confinement of the law. Teachers Union Satu says this is just the tip of the iceberg and exposes the learning and teaching environment in many schools. What is happening here is that the environment is becoming a bit far much more uh, hostile. Uh, it, be it becomes a bit hostile for us as educators as well in the classroom, whereby it, is, it becomes difficult uh, to maintain that kind of control within the class environment. And what it does is that it immediately compromises the learning and teaching environment. In that kind of an environment, it just becomes unsustainable. It becomes even difficult for a teacher to sort of deliver uh, what it is expected of him or her. Meanwhile, Education for Social Justice Foundation wants immediate harsher action, calling on police to take action against the scholar. It says schools should not be hiding places for ill-disciplined pupils. The learner who uh, assaulted a teacher at the Three River School should be expelled without any delay. We believe that uh, the installation of cameras across all schools in the country will help to eradicate <coughs> acts of uh, violence within the schooling system. The pupils' disciplinary hearing is expected to last a few weeks. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News, in the Val, in the south of Johannesburg.